I've got the Ameta S20 beginner drone. It's got a 4K camera, got a couple batteries for longer flight times, and it's beginner friendly. The other thing about it is it's super lightweight. You're gonna download the app from the App Store or Google Play. This is a Wi-Fi connected drone, so there's no cables to worry about. And over here, <clears throat> this is what I'd like to look at and say, hey, does it really have a good camera? Uh, how are the flight times? Does it really fly 25 minutes? How well is the GPS? Uh, how far will it go? It says 300 meters. And because it is a Wi-Fi drone, it's gonna be in pretty close, but that's fine. For what it is, beginner drone, something simple and easy to use. What do you get in the kit? You're gonna get a controller, and this is the standard Meta controller. I've had a couple of these drones. <clears throat> Phone goes in there. You have an app, connects through Wi-Fi. You've got your gimbals, some buttons for taking off, return to home, speed, different speeds, camera controls, and rotating of the camera. We're going to check all that stuff out. Oh, this requires three AAA batteries in the back. Speaking of batteries, here's one, and the other one's in the drone. So you got two of these little batteries. Only way to charge these is by putting it in the drone, which is kind of a bummer, but that's just the way it is. It takes a while to charge them too. So you know, when you put them in there, um, it's gonna take some time to charge. So it's good that you have two. It's very small, very compact. I do like that. It says it has a 4K camera. We're gonna test that out. Gonna test out how jiggly it is because it does not have a uh, three axis gimbal or anything like that. You need to put in your own SD card right there. I have a 32 uh, gig SD card. It's got a little LiDAR sensor back there to assist in landing. This is a itty bitty drone. I mean, it is super tiny. Should be fun to play around with. Speaking of which, let's go to the field and uh, get a first flight out of it. All right, let's get her up in the air. We're at the field, a uh, little windy but and gray, but we're gonna fly it anyway. So uh, obviously you're taking everything out that we just put in, in the case, uh, unfolding the props uh, or the arms, getting it powered up, and then we're gonna get into the Ameta S20 app on your phone Good. and there's no cables remember this is wi-fi connection so there's no cables required which is great but it does minimize the flight distance that you can fly away from yourself all right powered up now we're going to get the phone your because your phone's controlling it all remember all right we're going to open up the app and there's a couple things we're going to do i'm going to switch to a different camera view of, of showing my screen a little closer so you can see what's going on after you've downloaded the Ameta app, when you go into it the first time, it's going to ask you, you know, to connect to this one, the S20. But as soon as you go to do that, it's going to say, hey, you need to set up your Wi-Fi to connect to this particular drone. So go into your Wi-Fi settings. You'll see that you're not connected. Wait a second here. It's going to pop up Ameta. I want to basically connect to that. And now when you go back into your Ameta app, you'll see this. At that point, the app will pop up and you'll start seeing the screen. Let me go through what some of these icons are on the screen real quick. All right, so in the upper left corner, basically that's going to take you back to the initial screen. Going across the top, you have, you know, it says here GPS located, ready to fly. So it already has a GPS lock. And if you move over to the upper right, you've got battery. You have the uh, transmission, the level of transmission from the transmitter to the drone. And you have satellite lock. Along the far right side there, you have either time lapse, photo, video, and you can cycle through and hit those. So th that's how you're going to record. Either you want photos or whatever. Good down at the bottom is your SD card, how much memory you have still on the card. And then you have your speed distance away from you, the velocity, the height, so on and so forth. Then you have the compass, which is basically where is that drone pointed? Um, and then the next thing up, the four little, you know, kind of like a little drone. 
that gives you certain kind of what's called GPS features like follow me, uh, circle around me, zoom up, things like that for your GPS uh, videography, if you will. And then the last thing in there in the middle on the far left side is takeoff because we haven't taken off yet. The drone hasn't gone up and then it'll actually probably turn into a return to home. Before your first flight, check up there in that upper right corner where the arrow is. Click those three dots. First thing you want to do is go into this flight modes and you're going to change it from beginner mode. You're going to turn that off. Now you're going to adjust your return to home altitude, your max altitude and max distance. If you don't change that, then you're going to be limited to very short range and very low altitude. And uh, at some point I actually got stuck a little bit. I couldn't return to home. I couldn't do anything because I was at like the the end of the geo fence, if you will. So anyway, a couple things you need to pay attention to on that. Um, formatting the card, things like that, that's under the camera settings. And, you know, this is just your go-to area. To now we're going to calibrate the gyroscope. Click that and it just, just leave it there on the ground and it completes. You're done with that. Now we're going to calibrate the compass. Now you're going to do what it tells you to do. Pick up the drone and rotate it in that fashion. And then it's going to have you flip that drone up on its nose or actually you'll put nose to the air and rotate it. And then it'll come and say basically, hey, you're done. It's complete. Put it on the ground and now you're ready to fly. Use that back arrow to get all the way out. And now we're going to fly this thing. Start the motors. You put the sticks down and it to the inside, it starts it up, and now you're up. Got a little wind. And it's trying to stabilize in the wind pretty well. One of the things that we have are these GPS functions right there. So when you click that, you're going to have Waypoint, Circle Fly, and GPS Follow. So you select whatever you want to do, hit Go, and it's going to go through the process of either follow you, circle around you. I was having a few issues with this. It turns out that, and I kept getting that warning there, that there's a strong magnetic field or something in the area. Uh, I had to get fly down, recalibrate the compass, and then I could get it to work. But I didn't get any video of that. <laughs> Let me go through and kind of just uh, show the raw video footage. Now, to be fair, this was a windy day, and it was also dark, overcast. I believe that this drone really should only be flown on those really calm days. And when there's a lot of sun, you, you know, there's not a lot of adjustments you can make to the camera on exposure and things. It's all automatic. So you got this kind of dark color. You can post-process it, I suppose. The other thing, it doesn't have a three-axis gimbal. So as you see, it's quite jerky. And that definitely doesn't give you the best quality. You know, the video camera itself is not 4K. It's about 720p. All in all, it's a fun little drone. Low cost. Has returned to home. Has those GPS functions. Is it going to go uh, a mile and a half away? No. Is it going to give you the super high-def you know, 4K video? Nope. But it is a fun, simple drone, easy to fly. Uh, the speed modes, it, it will fly at a decent speed. The GPS or the return to home I tested, and it does a good job of that. Batteries last a pretty long time. So from looking at all of those types of things, if you're looking for a drone that is easy to fly, fun, affordable, this isn't a bad option. You should definitely look at it a little further. I'm going to leave you with a little extra footage here, uh, raw footage, and again, it's windy and it's pretty dark out. I didn't get a chance to fly it when it was really calm and sunny. But, you know, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, and uh, there's a link in the description below for the drone. So, have a great day. Thanks for watching.